I've built several rifles now with Alpha Legacy Reamers from Alpha Munitions. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about them. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. That's right, I'm a huge fan of Alpha Munitions because they're all about perfection. Their products are absolutely top tier. As an example, the best shooting rifle I ever built produced the best results with Alpha Munitions Brass, putting five shots into 0 .090 inches. Absolutely amazing. So their brass is what really got me started with Alpha, but I've come to really love using the Alpha Legacy Reamers. That's the topic of this video before we get into the Reamers themselves. So Alpha Munitions, US-based company, they make their products here in the US. They use the absolute latest state-of-the-art equipment for producing brass, for producing reamers, and for inspecting and, and implementing quality control to ensure the absolute highest levels of quality, consistency, and precision. A lot of people that are super serious about shooting depend on Alpha Munitions. They've got their optimized case design, aka OCD. Very, very tough brass that is able to withstand more than what would be typical pressures for a given cartridge. So it's top tier quality. Their primary business is the brass and that's where I got started with Alpha, but they do also make reamers. So let's talk about reamers. If you wanna know everything there is to know about reamers, you're gonna to wanna to check out the video that I did with Fred Zeglin of 4D Reamer Rentals. We talked about different types of reamers for different purposes, roughers, finishers, different types of reamer geometry. We talked about different materials like high speed steel versus carbide solid pilot versus live pilot reamers. It's all covered in the video. So I strongly encourage you to check that video out and the accompanying article. So that's the basis of knowledge from which I'm sort of basing this video on. Uh, I've learned a lot about reamers from people in the industry. I'm connected with a lot of the different companies that produce this kind of equipment. And it's fascinating to me. I don't know why, but I'm really fascinated with chambering reamers because they perform this sort of magic function. So let's talk about the Alpha Legacy Reamers. They are solid carbide construction. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. They've got flutes under the bushing that are optimized for pressure flush applications. The live pilot design, when you buy a reamer, they don't come with a specific pilot because they are under the assumption, appropriately, that you're gonna buy the appropriate bushing for your bore or have an entire set. That would be my recommendation. I like to run reamer bushings by two ten thousandth increments and they're available in up to 15 piece sets from select manufacturers and so if you have that set you're going to be able to test fit the bushing in your bore i in particular do it right where the throat transition is going to be because i get my pre-drill done it's that throat area that's going to really matter and that's where i want the reamer to fit uh, snug the bushing on the reamer I don't want it to be super tight. I don't want it to be gouging and scratching, but I don't want there to be slop. So the live pilot design is, is great. They've got the E-clips that secure it onto the end of the reamer. Uh, multiple free bore options. This is something really interesting that Alpha has done is they've wor worked with select world-renowned shooters and gunsmiths to understand for a particular cartridge, like your 6GT for instance, what bullets are people running? And what are the dimensions of those bullets. What's the profile of the bullet and the corresponding ogive location? They have optimized different freebore options based on those winning packages, if you will, those winning formulas. And those are available in the drop down. First, you select which uh, cartridge you're interested in, then the freebore option. And in that way, you're optimizing the geometry. And if you can get your throat section integral to the reamer, it's great for consistency and it will yield less chatter. I mean, chatter is a possibility with a separate throater reamer. So that's kind of the idea here is optimize the geometry on the reamer. And then if you find a winning combination, then you, ha you can go back and get that same option from Alpha and with their QC, it, you know that you're gonna get a consistent product. So the multiple free bore options is great. I've used uh, some industry knowledge to help me select the geometry for, for these reamers when I got those, and that's worked out really, really well. Again, more on that later in the video. They've got 
what they call their stealth coating technology. So on top of the carbide, you've got a coating that helps prevent chip weld and helps uh, promote the flow of the chips away from the reamer flutes. It's got a standard 7 16 shank, which is great because uh, that's what a lot of people have for reamer holders. And this is what I mean about quality control. Key dimensions are guaranteed within four microns. That's one and a half, ten thousandths of an inch. And the majority fall within two microns. So that would be less than a ten thousandth of an inch. That is what I call quality. There's always advantages and disadvantages, right? High speed steel versus carbide. Here's some advantages of alpha reamers. Carbide has about three times the stiffness compared to high speed steel, and that means it's less likely to flex, it's less likely to induce chatter. I've seen it right here on my lathe. As a test, I took my six arc reamer and I ran it all the way in with no reamer bushing. Now, this is a fairly short cartridge, it's a shorter reamer, it's not excessively slender, and what stunned me was, when I stopped to check for run out and for corresponding chatter, I had absolutely none. And part of why I wanted to do that experiment was to enhance the oil flow for my pressure flush system. I'm actually gonna be lowering the viscosity on what I'm using now. And so I thought, hey, what if I can run this without a bushing? And it turned out really, really well. And with a high speed steel reamer, I'm not sure that that would have been the case. Uh, carbide has much higher wear resistance. Uh, for production, carbide is typically preferred. Well, actually, it's always preferred, and it's always used where it gives you know, sufficient and appropriate results to achieve the correct goal. And in this case, I've found that that's exactly the case. You can run higher speeds and feeds with carbide. Uh, this is just absolutely a part of the story of the machining in the 20th century, right? In the 20s, 30s, 40s, high-speed steel, lower-speed machines were the norm. When carbide came in, uh, that saw the introduction of higher spindle speeds, higher feed rates, higher RPMs during machining processes, and these carbide reamers are an example of being able to achieve those sorts of results. So, Alpha Legacy exclusives, they've got proprietary spacing on their flutes, which are optimized to minimize chatter, which is definitely what you want. They have very exacting geometry, again, held to very, very high tolerances, and their finishing hone process gives surface finish, which is absolutely outstanding, and I can vouch for that. It's like a mirror when you look in there while you're cutting the chamber, absolutely amazing. Held to the highest industry tolerances for reamers and those optimized geometries, for the body, for the shoulder, for the neck area, and for the freebore, which is that option that you can select that I mentioned. So I really like this formula uh, that Alpha has implemented with carbide, exacting tolerances, uh, live pilot design, and selectable freebore options. You know, you can make this as complicated as you want, and it feels like Alpha has really worked hard to get great results and to give people options, but to reduce the number of variables down to the minimum set required for the majority of ultra precision shooters to achieve their objectives. Uh, that's the best way that I can think of to articulate kind of uh, what Alpha does there. And they are available in a variety of different cartridge specifications, including 22 LR match. Uh, that's the only rimfire one that I saw. 22 Creedmoor, 22 Dasher, 22 GT, 25 Creedmoor, 25 GT. That's an interesting one. I might have to try that sometime. 6 ARC, 6 BR, 6 BRA, 6 Creedmoor, 6 Dasher, 6 GT, 6x47 Lapua, 6XC2. That's a lot of sixes. 6.5 <laughs> Creedmoor, 6.5 PRC, 6.5x47 Lapua, 7 millimeter PRC. I just noticed this while preparing for this video. That is exciting. I'm a huge fan of 7PRC. As you guys know, I've done multiple builds. Maybe my next build will be with an Alpha Legacy Reamer. We'll see. And then you've got 308 Winchester, 300 Win Mag, and 300 PRC. Now, this is just the list. This is a snapshot as of the filming of this video. You're going to always want to go to the Alpha 
legacy page on the Alpha Munitions website to get the latest list. Okay, so results. This isn't just talk. This is, I've used these products and I've delivered some absolutely exceptional results. The 22 GT build. Here's an example during the break-in. Three shots clean, three shots clean, right? Uh, in the threes, 0.333 inches during, during break-in. And this is with the carbon barrel and an ultralight. Uh, the six arc, 0.244 inches for five shots uh, in a single string during low development. These are all at 100 yards, of course. This six arc rifle we're talking about was used at the Rock Chuck Olympics, was the only rifle where people got hits at 1,280 yards, where six arc is subsonic on this Rock Chuck target. Absolutely amazing. And when I went out, granted this was with no wind and no mirage, okay? I landed shots attempted number one, two, and three on that target at 1280 with this rifle with factory ammunition. And it's so funny, at that distance with the six arc subsonic, you could barely hear it. Uh, <laughs> but very, very satisfying moment. This rifle is an absolute shooter. Okay, and then we've got the 6GT. The 6GT has been used in multiple stories, in multiple configurations, and has also been an absolutely outstanding shooter. Here's uh, one of the EC tuner uh, tests that I did. Uh, at one of the settings, 0.2495 inches uh, for three shots at 100 yards. Just a little snapshot of some of the results that I've gotten. Okay, so here's what I'd like to know from you. If you're a gunsmith, what do you think of these Alpha Legacy reamers? Have you used them? Are you used to another brand of carbide reamers and are you interested in trying these? Drop a comment and leave me your feedback. Now for the general public, for my next build using Alpha Legacy Reamers, which of those cartridges would you vote for? Drop a comment and we'll start that discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.